Hey everybody, it's Tanya at Hummingbird Paintery. Um, hopefully you're having a good day today. Uh, it is Wednesday. I'm about three minutes late. I was talking to my ex-husband on the phone and um, so I'm a little bit late because of that. Hopefully some people will be on here. Um, Elizabeth is still doing her chicken project. Hey Kristen, it's good to see you. You're the first one for me to see today. Thank you for coming on. I'm gonna put it down just a little bit. It's good to see ya. Ugh, here we go. Hey, Michelle, how are you doing? It's good to see you. I don't know if I did that or not. Did I go down any? <laughs> hey, Miss Roberta, it's good to see you today. Thank you so much for being here. Um, if you don't see the live button in the corner up here, then please hashtag replay. Hey, Miss Phyllis, it's good to see you. You've been, I know, I've missed you too, Kristen. I know I hadn't seen you the last couple times. I know you've been busy going back to school and everything. Hey, Miss Elaine, how are you doing? It's good to see you. I'm trying to move my stuff over here out of the way. Um, I did get, hey, Ruth Adams, it's good to see you. <clears throat> so I got this sign. Um, this was from Hobby Lobby. It says, Rise and Shine. I know y'all see it backwards. Hey, Linda Tanner. Um, and so what I did to prepare this was, um, Mod Podge the front of this because I wanted to try the crackle effect since it has a black background. Hey, Miss Pat and Miss Jenny, it's good to see you. <clears throat> Gosh, me and my throat lately. I don't know what the deal is. <clears throat> hey, Linda Shearer. Hey, Miss Diana. Hey, Miss Connie. It's good to see you, ladies. Hey, Carolyn. It's good to see you. Um, so I went ahead and I did the uh, Mod Podge because I want to put a paint color on this. I'll get your opinion. Hey, Miss Carol Smith, how are you doing? It's so good to see y'all. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate it. Hey, Christy McGee, how are you doing? Hey, Miss Kim, how are you doing? <laughs> you got that little hand up there. That's the reason why I did that. <clears throat> so anyway... Um, I wanted to prepare that so you didn't have to um, watch me Mod Podge this, okay? We're just going to paint over the words. Um, I thought about red, either red or the Waverly uh, plaster. Um, I, that's all I have over here that's chalk paint. Everything's kind of up there in the corner because I, I moved my little holder up there and it's um, over the door. <laughs> in the craft room here. So, um, we're gonna paint the rooster first. That way it can dry while we do the crackle effect on this part. And then I'm going to just put the piece, which is this piece, on top of this piece. <clears throat> so it'll be a 3D kind of effect. I do have some sponges here. I felt like that it would be easier to put the paint on here if I just did it with a sponge. I got like a thicker one. These came from Walmart and um, I've seen people do it with thinner wood. So I'm going to try to do that since I'm not wanting to get in between and everything. I just want the front to have the color. Hey, Miss Laurel, it's good to see you. Happy birthday. I saw it was your birthday on Elizabeth's page. Hey, Miss Peggy, thank you again for my gifts. Um, she gave me some hair. Um, that I can use for one of my little girls that I always make. And she also gave me that pink blush uh, that I cannot find here for whatever reason. Um, so now I have a few of those. So thank you so much, Miss Peggy. I appreciate that. So we're going to use these instead of actually a paintbrush to put the color on right here. But we're going to do the, the rooster first. I keep wanting to say chicken. And I saw that Lindy today did a chicken, actually two chickens, but um, hey, Miss Cheryl. Um, and so we've all been doing chickens or roosters today. And that's just really funny to me that we all did it and we didn't know each other was going to do it. Um, I had told y'all I was going to do the Rise and Shine because it was a simpler project. And uh, normally I'm at work. Yes, definitely awesome gifts, Miss Michelle. Definitely. All right, so we're going to paint this, and I'm just going to get some paints. Um, I want this color kind of for the the body 
a little bit. So I am going to put some of this on the, the uh, plate here. And then we'll decide whether we want the, the words to be white, or I say white, but plaster, or if we want to do red and see how that crackles. I just, you know, you may not be able to see the black behind it if I do it that way. So we might need to have the cream color. I know, great minds think alike. Isn't that the truth? So I've got my paintbrush here. Hey, Valerie Allen. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate that. Hey, Miss Nancy. It's good to see you. Hope everybody's having a good day today. So I'm going to just paint this a little bit. I'm not going to do any specific way. I'm just going to do this. I'm not going to worry about doing the sides. I think that the wood color is fine for this. This actually was a board from uh, Michael's. Hey, Rochelle. And I just cut it. This was like a bigger board, but I wanted this particular one. I didn't... Hey, Susie. Hey, Shirley. Um, I didn't want it real thick, and so I used this board. I sometimes do that if I can get it on sale really cheap. Um, it ended up being just a few dollars for the sign after the holidays, and I got a white one, and I got this color one. So, to me, it's okay like this. Hey, Miss Tony, thank you for coming on. So, I'm just taking this, and we're just going to do it a little bit right here um, for the stomach part of this. Hey, hey Susan, it's good to see y'all today. Hey, Hannah, how are you doing? All right, so I've got my paper here so I can get off all of the water and everything. Got my pencils over here where I was trying to draw a little bit and all that kind of stuff. All right, so I'm going to use some navy. And actually, this is called, it says navy blue marine on it. And it's Craft Smart paint. And I'm going to use that a little bit. It is navy, but it sure does look different on the front here. Doesn't that look different? Kind of looks like that midnight. And then we're going to use this darker red. And this is a multi-surface satin. Hey, Miss Patty. It's good to see you. I'm going to use that for the red, even though it's a little deeper than probably the red on a rooster. I'm just going to kind of do it the way I want to. I'm also going to get a little bit of orange right here. Hey, Danielle, it's good to see you. You like my red wicker pumpkin. All right, that right there. It's kind of orangey, actually, but thank you. We did that on a live along with the little three-tiered one. Hey, Miss Gail, it's good to see you. I'm trying to get the last little bit. You know I'm not going to waste any paint at all. Sometimes I'll even cut these in half and dig in there and get the last little bit because paint is so expensive, y'all. So I'm going to also get a little bit of green. Hey, Vicki, how are you? I was going to ask you if you wanted to go to an estate sale on Friday. So I don't know if you want to go, Miss Vicki. Are y'all having a good day today? I'm going to put some brown on here too. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this rooster. We're just going to do however we want to. Hey, Miss B, it's good to see you. Vicky's actually the one that told me that I needed to start doing this page, y'all. So I really appreciate Vicky, and I've known her since high school, actually junior high. Yes, Miss Vicky. So, um, I'll message you because I'm off on Friday, so we could probably go to some good ones because I saw a few good ones on there. So, we'll get together. Um, hadn't seen you in a while, so it'd be good. Hey, Miss Debbie, it's so good to see you from Kansas. Hey, Miss June, how are you doing? You wish you lived near so you could go? I wish you could go too, Miss uh, Michelle. I appreciate that. All right, so I'm going to get some black too, okay? I will. You know I will. All right, so I'm going to get black on here. We're just going to kind of mix some colors um, together, some blues, some blacks, some oranges, and really I need some yellow, but I don't know if I have that. Let me see. We're going to get gold kind of color, and this is King's Gold, and I use it a lot, so I'm going to go ahead and put, ooh, a little bit, I say, a lot. <laughs> Good job convincing her. 
All right, so let me get a small brush. <clears throat> I've got so many brushes right here. Let's see. <clears throat> I've got the one that um, Miss... Any chance a person could get painting lessons in Ohio? I don't know. Um, I'm going to try to do a page. Well, I say a page. It's technically another page but where everybody can do a monthly subscription or I may just do one class at a time. I don't know exactly how to do it. I did see where I could do that um, on Facebook. <clears throat> so you could probably pay through pay Facebook and just do like a class for $10 like uh, Lindy does. Hey, Miss Tony, it's so good to see you and Marlene. So um, I'm going to do some more one-on-one uh, -on -one things. I do look at this little thing here. See that thing right there? <laughs> Lindy told me what to buy. So I've got it on the front here and you would be able to see what I'm doing right here. So we'll do some smaller things um, and paint. So um, I'm thinking about doing that and I'll do that like on a Saturday maybe or a night that um, I'm not live right here on Facebook for everybody to see. So if anybody's interested in that, y'all can let me know. Um, and we will do that, okay? All right, so I'm going to take my red, and this is kind of a deep red. Let's see what it's called. Dark Scarlet, okay? So I'm going to use that instead of Red Red, because I just like it better. And we're going to go around here, and I am going to need the gold because we've got to do the beak. And let's see here. So we're just going to kind of go around here. And I'm going around the eye right now. And this is all going to be red. Hey, Sandra. Thank you for coming on here. I appreciate that. If I feel like we need to do the sides, then I will. But I don't think we're going to need to. I just feel like that this color is pretty anyway, so it doesn't matter. What does that say? Gail, something about American Legion. Hey, Miss Rose. All right. So I'm gonna kinda do this. And it's just all one piece, really. <laughs> yes, don't forget to post your stuff on Hummingbird Crafters. If you're not already a member and you do crafts, make sure that you post everything on Hummingbird Crafters. Um, I'm getting more and more people in there, and I really like you all stuff. It's just awesome. So please do join, okay? I appreciate that. All right, so this is the red right here. And I think somebody just said they would like the classes. Did you get rain today? Yes. It's been on and off all day, Miss June. Have y'all had it over in Arkansas? I had to go to the dealer today to get my car. Lord have mercy. It was expensive, y'all, to get a door knob. I mean, not knob, but the lock fixed. Hey, Rosa Ortiz, thank you for coming on. So I'm going to take some of this yellow, and we're going to go right here. It was kind of hard to tell how the beak was on this. So I'm just kind of making it myself, because I couldn't tell. So we're just going to do it kind of like that right there. None in Texas, but supposedly coming tomorrow. I know you're excited, because these... We need some rain, that's for sure. My my yard needs it, but I am a little tired of it because we've had kind of blah days, and I think we're supposed to still get some tomorrow. I don't know. All right, so we're just going underneath here. I'm going to put some orange with it, too, and maybe even some red. Nothing is cheap anymore. No, Miss Janet, it is not. Um... 
I went to, you know, I don't know, some of y'all may be on my regular page and I posted on there that I had bought a sandwich probably, I didn't say when. Hey, Miss Tommy Sue, it's been um, probably about five or six months ago, okay, that I went to go get a barbecue. I was just over there at Dollar Tree and so I wanted to go get a barbecue. And so I stopped there and she said, and your total is $8.44. I said, for one sandwich? And she had asked me if I wanted a, a large or if I wanted a regular, regular size. I said, well, regular size, you know, before she told me the, the amount, I about had a heart attack. It was $5 and something the last time I got it. Hey, Miss Janet, Janice, how are you doing? All right, so we're just doing a little bit of the gold, and I still want it kind of wet. And I'm just gonna kind of do it like this, just putting some yellow in there, just like that. Do you need orange paint? I've got some orange on here. I'm gonna put some orange on it too, Miss Connie. I tell you, let's see. All right, I wanna kinda of put some orange in here, but I kinda of want some red too, cause it's just not dark enough, this orange. And I'm just gonna kinda of go like this. We'll see. And I want to cover up some of this white right here. So I'm going to have to have a darker color. Now I'm just doing it how I want to. Hey, Maria Mara. Obviously, this isn't the, the best paint. Paint job. But let's see. Because see, you can't hardly see the orange unless you put a little bit of red in it. So I'm just gonna do a little bit. So it's just kinda like that. I'm gonna put a little bit. Thank you for painting the page, I appreciate that. I'm gonna take some of the orange off and we're gonna get some yellow and kind of sprinkle in here a little bit. Cause I want it to look like, I was gonna say hair, but I mean feathers a little bit. I tell you, this year is going by so fast, it's hard to believe. Um, has everybody been on vacation this year or what? All right, so there's a little bit more of the yellow, okay? Then we're going to put some blue on there. Hey, Karen, thank you for coming on. I appreciate that. I'm going to put the navy, and I kind of want it to go in here a little bit. Just like this, we want the colors to kind of mix in there a little bit. Kind of like that. And I'm gonna get some black too. It's looking good. I hope so. I just want some color because I don't want it to be just a black sign because that's kind of boring. You haven't had a vacation? <laughs> What's that, Laurel says? Isn't that the truth? Well, y'all know I've seen, um, I've been to Orlando this year. Yeah, make it look like some feathers. I'm going to try to do that. I've got to put some color in here, but I'm going to make sure that it's blue on the background. So let me just paint this a solid blue here. I don't want it to be, even though it's navy, I don't want it to, let's see, I'm kind of making it look like that right here. But we're going to end up doing some black in there a little bit, and maybe a little bit of white too. So we'll just see. Last vacation was in 1995. Where did you go in 1995? Hey, Sarah Lena, how are you? Haven't seen you in a while. Thank you for coming back. 
And I think we're gonna do the feet kind of grayish color. Maybe a little yellow, I don't know. So I'm kind of doing it weird like right here. This is gonna be a black area because the feet are kind of in between. All right, so let me do this, this part. This was supposed to be a cutout area and I just didn't stop to cut it out. No vacation lately. Well, you know, I've got a few crafting trips that are coming up. I've got one in September, and then I've got one in October, and then I'm going to see my children in Texas. They live in South Texas. All right, so this is the middle, okay? So we want to definitely differentiate the feet here. So I want them to be a little gray or yellowish a little bit. Looks like purple on your end. It kind of does look like purple, but it's not. It's navy. It kind of looks weird. Um, I'm going to try to do some little bit of black. So let me do that first. And I'm just going to kind of go like this. We want to get just a little bit like this. Like that. You're happy for me? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to get to see my kids. That's the reason why I was talking to my ex-husband earlier. To make sure that he could pick me up from the airport and that I could stay with him. Luckily, we have that kind of relationship. We used to not. Well, especially when he was married. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, Laura, because I'm sure that the wife wouldn't want me to be there, you know? <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. So, we're just kind of doing this. We just want the feathers to look like that a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow in there, too. Maybe even a little red. I don't know. So, we're just going to see. I'm trying to, there we go. I kind of want it all to blend in there. So see how it kind of blends together? Like it's all kind of coming right in here instead of out to the side there. So let me just see. I want a little bit right there. Sometimes I can look at it sideways and just see a little bit better. There we go. I kind of like it like that. Thank you for sprinkling, Miss Susan, and thank you for the heart, y'all. I appreciate that. Let me see if I can get my yellow, and I'm going to just keep this black in there, and we're going to see what we can do for the, the chicken legs or chicken feet. And I'm just kind of going like this. I don't know really where these belong. I don't know if that should be. It's kind of weird looking. It's hard to tell where the feet go, you know? So I'm just kind of, we're going to do a little bit dirtier right here underneath because this needs to be the background too, but that's not the way it was. Let me just see here. A little bit of black. And then get a little bit... I like the yellow a little bit. But it's kind of, I don't know how to do this. Because it's just not, I'm just kind of doing it like that, okay? It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, thank you. I don't know if this one's that good a painting or not, really. Sometimes these cutouts or... When it's like this one, you can't tell because it's just one big old thing right here. See how there is a hole in it? But you just don't know. Hey, Miss Judy. So I'm just winging it. All right, we're going to get some white, okay? Just a little bit on this brush right here. And it's kind of old, so it's like this. And that's the way I want it. 
So I don't try to get rid of all my brushes that look like this. Thank you, Miss Debbie. So I'm going to take this and we're just going to put a little bit of white And that's okay to have more on that side. I just want to do lightly. Just like that. Let me fix this. It kind of looks like a blob there. All right, just like that. And then we want the feet look good to you. It's just a little bit of yellow, whatever. I don't know. So, it's all right. So, I'm going to take some of the white and just kind of make this look like feathers in here. Since it's blue, it's hard to tell. And I'm going to take a little bit of black. I say a little and I got a lot. But I want to put it right in here. A little bit right in here. Just kind of like that. That way it gives it a little definition from the back and the front. You think it's perfect? Well, thank you for saying that, Michelle. I appreciate that. And I can't see the one before that. It says, my pastor and his wife had a rooster and it always chased him. I've heard that. They're kind of mean, actually, um, roosters are. I don't know if I'd want one. All right, let me make a little eye right here. All right. And I'm going to take probably a little bit of black. Okay, but I don't need it this big. So, um, this is a smaller flat brush, okay? When I'm trying to do something small on the edge, I'll take that. Hey, Miss Janice, um, I'm going to take a little bit of black, but I just want a little bit, not the size of the eye, okay? And we're going to take it, and I'm going to do it, flip it over here. I'm going to take it and go around here right where, and I might need just a tad of water. So let's see, just to make it go smoother. Just like this so far, okay? We don't want it too much, and I may put some more red with it. And then we want it to go right here as well. And I'm gonna just take this I got to have a very tiny bit of black, okay? We're going to go over the edge here, and I'm just going to do it this way. So let me see here. And then this called a cone on the rooster's head. So I'm trying to define the cone, okay? So I'm trying to do this. And I want to go just slightly next to the beak. Chickens and roosters, that's for sure. All right. We're going to... Woo! Got too much. All right. So I'm making this. We probably will put some more red on there, okay? Because I might have got it just a little bit too thick. Yes, the comb. Okay. And then I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to make this black. Because it just doesn't look like that I cut it exactly right. But it's the way it was. So let me see here. This doesn't look right to me. I don't know if it needs a line. Maybe it needs a line. What do y'all think? Let me see. Where's my brush? It's this one. Ooh, come on. Sometimes you got to have a little bit of water to make it go straight. There we go. 
So I don't know if that's the way that's supposed to be or not, but we're gonna just go with it. Let me see, and I'm gonna get a little bit of white too and go around the eye. Hey, Miss Jenny, it's good to see you. Waddled through that piece that hangs. I'm not sure what you mean. They also have waddled or waddled. Waddled that, oh, the little thing down here, like I have on my neck. Lord have mercy. I call it the hangy thing. You know, when you get older, everything just falls to the ground. <laughs> I don't care what it is. It can be your arm or your under here or whatever. So it's terrible. I have hangy things, you know? <laughs> so it's terrible. All right. So we're going to take this and I'm going to cover some of this black up because I don't want it to be too thick on the side. Hey, Miss Rita, it's good to see you. So, like I said, you can always fix anything that you feel like that you don't like, whatever color it is, you can always go for it and paint over it, okay? So, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of white, your boobs, your butt, you're so right, exactly. It's good to see you, Rita. Yes, it does. I mean, once you hit 50, it just goes downhill from there. And I mean, literally <laughs> everything. Yes, we need chin straps. You know, my mother always told me, she said, make sure you smile really like all the time because it pulls the muscles in your face up. <laughs> and she's right. If you do, <laughs> if you do like that, <laughs> then, then it pulls that and you kind of like have a lift. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hangy things. I know. Hangy things, droopy things, everything. But it's okay. It uh, beats the alternative, but gravity does take you. Nothing is good anymore. The elasticity in your skin goes. <laughs> so if somebody doesn't really love you for you, and they only love you for the way you looked from earlier in the 40s and 30s and 20s, then they're in for a treat, aren't they? Yes, everything hand is going to, to uh, south. You're right. All right, so I'm going to put just a little bit of this white, and this is really the creamy color right here, and I put my hand in this, <clears throat> so I'm going to have to fix it. My shirt says, be the reason someone smiles today. But it matched my pants. I wore this the other day. Hey, Miss Wendy. How are you doing? Hey, Debbie. All right, but it's, it's true, y'all. It's true. All right, so let me see here. I'm going to try to take some of the yellow, and I'm going to kind of go into this a little bit more. But yeah, hangy things, just things. It's just terrible. Everything hangs. What time are you presenting in the Memphis Bells? I'm actually the last one. It's good to see you, Wendy. Um, I'm actually the last one of the night. So I'm 8 o'clock, I think. I cannot wait to do that on Saturday. If y'all are not... Uh, a part of the Memphis Bells, then y'all need to do that. That's one of the groups that I'm in, and we do things on Saturdays every month. And this week, um, Saturday, we're having a MacGyver event, and um, it is where you use a stick, a letter, and a ball, okay? And we have to figure out something to make with all three of those items, and depending on the crafter, you never know what you're going to get, okay? I can't wait to do mine. I can't wait to show it to you. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate that. So definitely tune in because everybody is going to be doing something different and unusual. Hey, Miss Kathy, you can't wait to see what everyone comes up with? Me too. This is going to be the event of the year. I just have a feeling. Um, it's just awesome. I can't wait. All right, 
So let's see, we're gonna take a little bit of white, or I say white, it's plaster, okay, that I'm using. And I'm just gonna make some little lines here. And I'm just, just like there's a little bit of light on it, okay? Yeah, I can't wait to show y'all what I do. It's going to be the event of the year. I just love it. Hey, Diana Seaford. Thank you for coming on. What's the name of the group again? It's Memphis Bells Creative Circle. So definitely go there. Memphis, Memphis Bells Creative Circle. You can't even imagine any ideas from those. I know, but I came up with something immediately. Hey, Miss Paige Carter, thank you for coming on here and watching me. All right, we've been painting on this, okay? This is the rooster, and I'm just going to let it dry a little bit. This is the face. That's about as good as I can get for this rooster, okay? I got to do one little dot in his eye. I forgot. One little dot, okay? So that makes it better right there. You love the rooster? Well, thank you for saying that, Miss Peggy. He's he's pretty good, I guess. I'm going to put him over here. Now, we're going to do this crackle effect, and I think I'm going to do it with the cream color. We don't have a whole lot on the rooster. So I'm going to use one of these, and I think I'm going to use this one because I see people with this sort of kind of a square or triangle type thing. Yeah, I don't know what everybody, I know what Marie is going to do, but, you know, or sort of anyway. But we're not supposed to know what each other does, um, but hopefully, okay, I told y'all before, um, if you did not see the beginning, I want to tell you um, that I went ahead and Mod Podge this before I came on, and then we're going to put this color on there. It's Chalk Paint by Waverly Plaster because we're gonna try to make this a crackle effect, okay? And so I'm just gonna take this and we're just gonna do it on the top of this. And then it's supposed to have crackle when I dry it. So we're gonna see if this works. I've never done it. I don't know if it works well. Hey, Dorinda, it's so good to see you. I'm gonna try to go over this a good, good couple of times. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that or not. I haven't really paid attention to what the technique is. Am I doing it right? <laughs> so I don't know. I just think that you have a color on something and then you put Mod Podge over it and then you put your paint on top of that and you dry it. So is that correct? So hopefully... All right, and it doesn't matter if it's exactly a thick area. I'm trying to do it a little thick, but I don't, I don't know that I am. Let's see what we can do here. I think it's supposed to be semi-thick, right? Yeah, glue, well, Mod Podge is kind of glue. And I just want it on the top. I don't want the whole sign done. Hey, Miss Pat Tyner, how are you doing? So glad to see you, girl. I had the pleasure of meeting her when she was coming through to see her daughter. So it was nice to see a face from my page. All right. Ooh, I hope this works, y'all. <laughs> you had to go to the therapy again. How are you, Miss Margaret? It's good to see you. Thank you for coming on. I was hoping this would be easier to paint. I don't know if a brush wouldn't have been easier. What we'll do is go over it one time and then we'll go back over it again and just see. 
And of course, we don't have to do the chicken, okay? I did not do that. It was a wonderful visit. Thank you for coming and seeing me. I enjoyed it. And this can look kind of old and crackled and not so perfect because it's a chicken sign or a... Hey, Melissa Dickerson, how are you doing? Thank you for coming on here. Well, it's not really a chicken, it's a rooster, but... I've seen some mean roosters in my time. All right. I'm just going to do right here just because... All right, now let me go over it just a little bit more, and then we will dry it and see if it does the crackle. If it doesn't work for me, then I don't know if I'll do it again because <laughs> I'm not so good. I think it's supposed to have a semi-thick coat of paint on it, if I'm not mistaken. Thank you for going on there. I was just saying, if anybody has not gotten on Memphis Bell's Creative Circle, then go there and join. Um, that's where you can see all of the crafters. I'm going to be the last one on Saturday at 8, 8 p.m. And I can't wait to do it. I got... I didn't... I say I got creative, but I try to always be creative, but you just never know. Somebody's like, I can't wait to see what Justin does. That's who I really can't wait for. All right, let me see if this is going to work, y'all. You're fine. I'm glad. Hey, you can't miss my painting. All right, let's see if this works. I've got some feathers over here because I was going to put feathers on it, but I didn't like, I didn't have enough of one, one color. Now, how long does this take? Because this just doesn't seem like it's doing, oh, it is too. Oh, it's doing it. <laughs> Miracle! Oh my goodness, it takes a lot of uh, heat, though. Wow! Oh, that's cool! Paint on, on the glue. Well, it's doing it. It's just taking a minute. Wow, I've got a big sign to do. It's trying to do it on its own. How cool is this? <laughs> I know I surprised myself. Well, I wasn't sure it was going to work. I've never done it. Oh, it's so doing it. Whee! So nice. It'll take a lot of heat. <laughs> I've never done it. Oh, it's doing it so pretty. Goodness. I think it is supposed to have like a thick thing of paint because that seems to be doing better in those areas. Let's see. Oh, I know. I'm just so excited. I guess you can go over it again if it's not enough paint on there. Have y'all done it? 
Where did you get the Rise and Shine sign? I got it at Hobby Lobby on sale, Miss Margaret. It was in the, um, the spring section. Oh, it's doing it, y'all. It's doing it. I wish it was as pretty as it should be, though. It just don't seem to be as pretty as it ought to be. Let me try some over here since I did this last. Well, when you leave the the heat tool on there for a while, it bubbles up too. <laughs> you like my excitement? I just didn't think it would work, but it's working. You really do have to have a lot of paint on there. I think that's what the key is. And where I did more paint, then it worked a little bit better. So make sure that you do a real thick coat. It's doing it, but come on, really? Boy, this could take all night. Hey, Miss Regina, how are you doing? We're getting our crackle. Smells too. Anybody said it smells before? Smells kind of like burning. Surely ain't burning nothing. <laughs> I don't see any flames yet. Lord have mercy. I'm getting awfully close. Maybe it's the wood. <laughs> it's supposed to crackle, not burn. Hmm. Let me see if I can um, do a little bit thicker and see if it'll do a little bit better. Now, with this on there, I don't know that it'll do that, but we'll see. Never tried to fix a problem before with this kind of thing. You're pretty good. I'm so glad. All right, let me see. Where it's crackled, I won't do it, but I'll... Do it where it's not crackled. Let's see. Like this doesn't really have any. That has a little bit, but I'm doing it anyway. Let's just see. I'm disappointed. It's just maybe I didn't do it right, though. Who knows? Something new. I guess we live and learn, don't we? I think it's supposed to be thick. All right, let's see. Let me do right there, right there a little bit. All right, we're gonna try it again. Hey, Gloria. Let's see. If it don't do it after a minute here, then we'll just stop to do it the way it is. It doesn't matter. I guess you need a thick amount of both to make it crackle. And it bubbles too. Hey, 
Hey, Miss Sharon. How are you doing? Hey, Miss Deborah. Thank you for coming on. I'm trying to crackle, but I'm not so good at it. It's trying to crackle, but it's just barely. You tried it and it did a little bit. How are these people doing it that have it and it crackles a whole lot? I want to know what their technique is. Hmm. I thought it was supposed to bubble up. Hey, Miss Wanda. It's good to see you. Well, let me show you. Ooh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. Okay. I don't know. If, let me see where it's better. Up in the R, it's kind of good right there. Just a little bit. See it right there? But I can't get it to do good. Vaseline or Elmer's glue or a candle. Hmm. I don't have any Vaseline. I do have glue. But it doesn't work after you've already done it, right? When the glue is still wet. Oh. Well, maybe. I thought it had to dry. I don't know. But it's alright. I may go through and just... I don't know. Chip it. <laughs> chip it a little. Do a little bit of... um. Where is the... um? Here, I've got this. Wonder if it'll just do. I kind of want some of the color to come through, but okay, so that's not really working. I mean, it kind of gets it on the end there, but you can't really see the black. I'm wanting it to see some black through there. Yeah, sand some. Try rubbing the paint to give it a Danby look. What does that mean? See, I'm trying to do it here, and I can't. It won't do. Why do these things happen to me? I obviously am not too good at this. Scrape it. Yeah, I'm thinking scrape, too. What do I have? Like a scissors? <laughs> Let's see, use water? Huh. Water and then this? Let's see. I found out it's better to do it in small sections and don't dry the glue. Okay. Do you have a scraper? I have this little booger here. This is a scraper, isn't it? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, there it comes. But that now is ugly. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Ugh. Well, it's getting some of the black through, right? Well, that's kind of weird looking. <laughs> that ought to work. Maybe I'll just do a little bit here and there. It doesn't do real well. I may try to... Yeah, it'll scrape off a little bit, but that doesn't look real good. I think I want to paint over it and then do it again, but y'all don't have to watch that. We're going to do the rooster over here, so I'm going to take this and we're going to do a little bit of our glue gel. Let dry brush some black. Oh, that's a good idea, Miss Regina. Dry brush it. You go, girl. All right, let me, I'm going to do that and we'll see. All right, so I'm going to put a little dab over here and over here and down here. And then I'm going to take hot glue, and we're going to put on the rest of it. Let 
a little bit up here and a little bit down there. And we're just going to put this on top of here. All right, let me get it as close as we can here. And then we're just going to hold it for a second. That's what you do. Is just um, paint a little dry brush of black. Let me see. Let me get it off of the brush here as much as possible. Let's just see what it looks like. Yeah, it kind of makes it rusty looking. Let's see. I was trying to do everything down so it's all in one direction. Yeah, that kind of works. That's better than the scrape, right? Let's see. Getting all the sanding off. Ooh, that's too much. We don't want too much. Any little bits, it's kind of coming through if I dry brush. So that's not too bad. Ooh, let me get it off of there. Kind of got just a little bit too much in that one area. That don't look too bad. I'm trying to get it all in one, one way. I just don't want it to be just black, you know? How about the yellow with gold? Yeah. I could do a little bit. Let me see here. See, it was trying to do it because I see all of this on there. Let me see. That doesn't look too bad. How does that look? Just a little bit. Doesn't look too bad, huh? Little yellow. Yeah, I could do a little. Let's see if we can do a little yellow. Kind of got too wet of a brush there. This just gives it a little bit of color. That's pretty good. Let's see. Just put a little bit on there. One more little thing for over here. Hey, Sharon Bennett. Thank you for coming on here. We're just putting a little bit of color. Here we go. So there's a little bit of yellow in there. So I think it looks cute with the rooster. What do you think? Rise and shine. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate that. So this will be cute on the kitchen. It's got two different little things to hold it up. Orange and yellow like a sunrise. Isn't that the truth? It looks good. It's good to see you too, Miss Sharon. Thank you, Miss Phyllis. Thank you for the hearts and the thumbs up. So on Friday, um, actually tomorrow I'm coming on. I forgot. I'm going to do craft round the clock at 1245 tomorrow. So if you are at home and you can watch, here's the rooster again. Then we're going to come on and make our little um, kitty cat with a hat on it. It's really cute. It's not necessarily Halloween, but sort of. Would you please flip it? Okay. Okay. 
Rise and shine. Oop, I can't see your stuff. Okay, there we go. Ready for breakfast? <laughs> Isn't that the truth? You love it, Miss Vicky? Thank you so much. I think it looks cute, kind of dirty. So even though it didn't crackle, a little bit of yellow and black on there kind of makes it look good. So um, thank you, Regina, for saying that. Thank you for the hearts. So um, tomorrow at 1245 Central, um, I will be on to do um, Craft Round the Clock. So make sure you tune in. And uh, we will make that little kitty cat that I posted earlier today. I did go to the Dollar Tree and they did have another one. <clears throat> the first Dollar Tree did not have any. And I thought, oh my goodness, I'm not going to have another one. I always ought to know that I need to purchase two of something because if I try it, then um, I don't know what you posted there. Miss Pat, yeah, craft round the clock tomorrow. Miss Pat was posting the link on there for you to get on. Thank you, Miss Phyllis. I'm glad you'll be there. So I'm going to uh, be on at 1245 Central, like I said, with Craft Round the Clock. So be there or be square now. Um, and we'll make our little kitty cat. And then I'll decide what I'm going to do on Sun on Friday. I'm used to not being here this many days. So today, tomorrow, and the next day. And then I'll see y'all on Sunday as well. Thank you for the hearts. <clears throat> and I appreciate your time tonight. Y'all have a good evening. And I will see y'all tomorrow at 1245. Have a good night, y'all. Thank you so much, Miss Peggy. Thank you, everybody. Bye.